Welcome to Just the Tip with me, Rogue FPV. This is the first in a new series of short and dirty tech tips and tricks. This quick tip is about D-Shot Motor Beeper, how to set it up, and why it's not working when you think it's set up correctly. Even though I'm focusing on D-Shot to beep the motors directly, almost all the same steps apply if you have wired up an external buzzer like Hellgate or Vifly. Now I'm assuming you already know about motor beeping and D-Shot commands and beeper mode with an aux switch. But if you guys want a more in-depth video, let me know in the comments below. Before we begin, make sure to update your ESCs via BLHeli S or BLHeli32 to the newest available firmware versions. All right, so let's jump into Betaflight and uh, walk through the beeper configuration. In the configuration tab, let's go over to the ESC motor features. And let's make sure that we select a D-Shot protocol, uh, either D-Shot 300 if you have an F4 flight controller or D-Shot 600 if you have an F7 or above at the time of this filming. Uh, I have an F7, so I'm going to go ahead and pick D-Shot 600. Uh, and then I'm going to scroll down to the D-Shot beacon configuration. And I'm going to make sure that I turn on RX lost and RX set. Uh, if everything else is set right and you don't have these two turned on, this is why it's not working. Um, you can go ahead and choose any of the beacon tones. Uh, it doesn't really change the sound of the beep very much. It's not going to play like a musical tone. It's just beep, 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 you know, like that. Um, but like I say, any of these will work. doesn't matter. The main thing is that both of these are turned on. Um, as we scroll down into the beeper configuration, you don't have to change anything in here. You can turn them all on, you can turn them all off, you can copy my settings. Uh, but as a pro tip, if you have an external buzzer wired up, turn off USB. Otherwise, it will beep every time you plug into Betaflight. Uh, but once you have all that, go ahead and do a save and reboot. And we'll connect back in. And we'll go to our modes tab next, and we're going to set up a mode for beeper. Uh, where is it? There it is. Add range. Um, before I set my switch, I specify where in the switch range it's going to be. I like to have mine at the end, so when the switch is down, it's triggered. And on my crafts, I like to use the same switch as my turtle mode, which is auxiliary switch number two. Um, and if I scroll down, you guys can see, where's my flip over after crash? Oh, we have to add that as well. Add a range. Put that guy over here. So that when my auxiliary 2 is down, flip over after crash or turtle mode is active. And now we can see aux 2 on flip over after crash. My, my switch range position is at the very end of the throw. And my beeper is also aux 2, and the switch range is at the very end of the throw. Now, the way that that works um, for you guys, just so that you know, um, beeper has priority when you put the switch in the, in the desired position until you hit the arm switch. If you use beeper and turtle mode together, that's, that's the only time that that applies. Beeper has the priority until you arm in turtle mode then turtle mode has the priority and beeper is canceled temporarily uh, so the way that i use that is uh, let's say if i get stuck up in a tree and i can't see you know am i in the front of the tree or the back i can go ahead and beep the motors and get an audible tone oh there's my quad in that area then if i need to get turtle mode active to spin the props and get out of the tree i can hit my arm switch and then move my directional stick for turtle mode but uh, once you have your range and your mode set up, go ahead and click save. And that's all that there is to it, basically. You're done. As long as your radio is working and bound, you should have motor beep now when you plug in a LiPo and hit that switch. Thanks again for watching, guys. Any questions, comments, video requests, drop a comment down below. I'll be sure and get back to you. Uh, definitely please like and subscribe and click the notification bell. That really helps me out a lot.